You know what I think for me was probably Roy Keane. I grew up in Cork. He's a few years older than me, but I think he changed the mindset for for young kids from Cork. He gave us a chance to to believe, to dream, to say we can compete on a European stage or a world stage. So he jumped out. It's Dennis Irwin. It's Sonia O'Sullivan. It's Jimmy Barry Murphy. You understand that. Uh, I suppose uh, they're all local, but um, there was huge pride in it. Um, when you look at Cork GA. Uh, Munster Rugby and it'd be Ralph Keyes and Michael Bradley Don Lenehan and then uh, for for soccer it was Roy Keane Dennis Irwin and and they grew up whatever a few kilometres from where, where where I grew up and then it was Larry Tompkins Jimmy Barry Murphy um, plenty of uh, brilliant Gaelic footballers Oh, I'd have to be my father, uh, although he played the game of footy. Um, and there's others too. Like, yeah, I mean, you know, we we do a little thing here called highlights, heroes, and hardships. And and most most of our blokes, uh, their father or their mothers is their hero. Um, so yeah, I think most of us have been fortunate enough to, I call it the luxury of life, to be be born with uh, into into good families. Hence the reason we're here and doing what we're doing. Um, but away from that, I think that, yeah, there's so much you can learn from other sports people too. Whether that's you know whether they're football coaches, whether they're um, Formula One coaches, whether they're AFL coaches, and then even great politicians and great actors. So I mean, I I try and stretch my level of of knowledge and learning across all of those spectrums because there's so many brilliant people out there, and you can learn little bits from all of them. So um, yeah, I, I'll call out my dad, but. Uh, There'd be so many others that have, have given me a little tidbits along the way. Oh, there's lots of lots of people like you know all my all my family primarily would be would have, would have had a huge influence on me. Um, you know, obviously rugby coaches, but if you were going outside rugby, I remember Paul Carrington coming in to speak to us as an Irish team in, in 2009 when I was just sort of it was actually 2008 um, before they won the. Uh, Grand Slam and then 09 it was the November 08 and I remember struggling with Leinster and, and it was just one of those penny drop moments with with what he was saying and, and the, some of the thoughts he was having and they kind of having listened to him and he was at the top of his game um, it kind of made me realise that it's not always a smooth path and it's, it can be different for people to get to where they want and, and um I think he's had a different you know, an influence on me just by watching him and listening to him and then I met him a couple of years ago as well and had a coffee with him when, again, I was struggling with, with something and um, he was excellent. Um, so he's, he's been brilliant for me. Um, the man who's on the book behind you, Muhammad Ali, was a big influence <laughs> in my career. Um, Mike Tyson, a big fan, mostly boxers, to be honest, mate. I quite like the... Because um, it's an individual sport, obviously, all the backstory, you get a lot of content about him uh, and it's obviously all very well documented. Um, but yeah, one of those... One of those two are the biggest influence in my career, definitely, hands down. Looking behind your shoulder there, you got the <laughs> University of Notre Dame. I, I think I, uh, someone books there I read pretty early on coaching was Lou Holtz, who's a, who's a pretty historic coach at uh, Notre Dame uh, football. And, uh, you know, I think for me, um, for, for my coaching career, I, I, I really enjoyed um you know his philosophy around things and getting things right, uh, doing right, all that sort of stuff. So I think um, he, he had a bit of a uh, an immediate impact on, on me. From a coaching point of view, probably in recent years, it's probably taken the best of some coaches that are out there. Um, you know, watching the Dublin environment, I think has, has been has been very very strong, um, and the coaching setup that they've had there. That's in in football, obviously, and. Uh, I remember going down to watch uh, Kilkenny train with Brian Cody as well, um, you know, and just could try to get an understanding of what 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 the the spirit and culture of those teams are. Um, so yeah, that's probably the two teams that like jump out of me. Probably from especially as you be- become a become a coach, I think probably you start to you do start to look particularly at some of the the, the coaches and this is probably I've done it more. In the last three or four years, those longer-term coaches. So I, I do look, I do do a fair bit of reading and watch a fair bit of, of American football, just because so much of it is about coaching. There seems there's almost as many coaches as there is there is players at times, and and so those guys who and obviously they have 
some of the challenges we have, right? Working around salary caps and refreshing teams and how you how you maximize that. So some of the American I've I've read a lot of stuff around Bill Belichick and guys like that at at uh, at the Patriots. And I think that it's probably that. It's probably that variety of of looking at some of those guys who've had that bit of longevity as coaches is probably the thing that's I've, I've spent the most time looking at. I have I wouldn't really say there's been a individual sports man who I kind of kind of ever kind of latched onto so much.